Hello and welcome to another video of our virtual FRED deep dive session. In this video, I will talk about the additional content we have added to our asset manager, and I will also talk about the implementation of our web shops. Last year, we had the great opportunity to partner with renderpeople.com, Markround, and XWrite to deliver additional content with the software. Renderpeople.com provided us six different textured, rigged, and skinned 3D characters that are ready to use in FRED. Also, markround.com provided us with free 360 degree environments and the according backplates you can simply drag and drop from the asset manager into your thread scene. From an older project we have done together with XWrite, we now deliver an HDR of the Spectralight QC light booth, which is perfect for evaluating materials under ideal daylight light conditions. To give you an entry point for working with HTML5 overlay menus, which can be used for configurators, for example, we have added an hamburger menu and a generic circular menu you can modify to your needs. With the introduction of the new subsurface scattering in FRED 2021, we have added eight subsurface scattering materials with different characteristics. And last but not least, we have implemented an in-software webshop system last year, where you can purchase and download more content from some of our partners like Adobe Substance or Markround. Those assets are automatically imported as materials, environments or backplates and can immediately be used in FRED. Okay, let's move over to FRED and see how it looks in the software. Once your assets are installed, you can go to the Preferences Asset Manager tab and see where your assets are located. If you have a newer thread installed, but not the latest assets, and you want to relink your existing assets, you can do that in here as well. In the Asset Manager, you will find the Render People character, our subsurface gathering materials, the Markround and XWrite environment, and also the according scene plates and HTML5 front plates. To bring in your characters from the Asset Manager into the scene, simply drag and drop them into the 3D viewport. To see the character rig, go to View, Show Joints. To manipulate the character, you have to enable it first in the context menu of the scene graph by going to Asset, Modify. Do not move the parent group, as this leads to double transformations. Instead, select the hip node and position your character. It is also possible to select the joints directly in the 3D viewport. It is also possible to select multiple joints and rotate and rotate them with the transform module in one go. Okay, let's add another environment. Simply drag and drop an HDR dome into the 3D viewport. This will automatically create a new environment in the environment switch node. You can then toggle. To load the according backplate, Make sure that scene plates is enabled in the main menu bar and front and back plates is checked. Then you can simply drag and drop the scene plate into the background. The scene plate is added to our scene plate editor. And if you want to manipulate it, same goes here. Context menu, asset, modify, and now you are able to change the rotation or the size of the scene plate.
for our X-Ride environment, I have to switch to something smaller. As this environment is made for small products. Simply drag and drop the X-Ride dome into the 3D viewport. As you can see, this environment is a 360 degree image of a real Spectralite QC light booth. This environment is ideal for evaluating materials under neutral daylight light conditions. Let's assign some subsurface scattering material. Simply by drag and drop it from the asset manager onto your material. Subsurface scattering works only in ray tracing. We have added a couple of subsurface scattering materials with a very unique characteristic, like skin, or orange juice. Okay, let me show you our scene plates as HDMI 5 front plates. Therefore, I open a new scene. And simply drag and drop the HDMI 5 menu into my 3D viewport. This hamburger menu, for example, loads the Genesis Exemplify and offers a small core configurator. We have also added another example That allows you to set the anti-aliasing settings or to show or hide the view cube and enable or disable still frame anti-aliasing. These assets can be found in our example folder and feel free to adjust them to your needs. Okay, let me show you our webshop implementation. Therefore, I open the Spectralite QC scene again with some examples in there. Our webshops can be found in the main menu and let's start with the Substance webshop. This is an in-software web browser that gives you direct access to the Substance source webshop. Once you are logged in, you can download materials from here that are stored under that specific path. You can change that download directory to your needs. Once the material is downloaded, it appears in the material editor and can be directly applied. There might be changes necessary depending on your model. So let's switch that over to a UV mapping and let's see 
which examples are in there. You can also adjust the texture size in the substance material and recapture the new settings. The Markround web shop works very similar. Once you are logged in, you are able to download the environments and the according backplates, and they are automatically imported into the scene as a dome environment or a scene a backplate in the scene plate editor. That's it for our asset manager and web shops, and I hope to see you in one of the next videos.